adding mixed fractions. In the last example, the denominators were the same in both fractions. In this situation, we have a mixed fraction, 1 and 2 thirds, and another mixed fraction, 1 and 1 fourth. Remember, to add things, they need to be the same type. These are thirds, these are quarters, clearly we'll need to make a change. There's different approaches to this question. I like to take the whole numbers, 1 and 1, and add those together before I do anything else. Now I'm left with 2 thirds and 1 quarter that I need to combine. Because the denominators are different, you know that we need to find a new denominator for both of those. Making a list of multiples for 3, and then for 4, I quickly discover that 12 is the smallest number that will be in both lists. My LCM then is 12. Taking 2 thirds and changing it to 12 is my first step. 1 quarter changed to 12 will be my second step. What did I do to the 3 to change it into a 12? Well, I would need to multiply by 4. Similarly, 2 times 4 would give me 8. My new fraction is 8 twelfths. If I look at 1 quarter, what did I do to the 4 to turn it into a 12? Well, I multiplied by 3. If I do that in the bottom, I have to do that likewise to the numerator in the top. 1 times 3 would be 3 twelfths. My two new fractions are 8 twelfths and 3 twelfths. Because I'm adding twelfths, 12 remains as my denominator. 8 plus 3 gives me 11. Adding it to the whole number at the top would give me 2 and 11 twelfths. Combine the whole numbers. Find a new denominator by finding the LCM. Find two equivalent fractions and finally combine your end results. Remembering to record your final answer at the top, 2 and 11 twelfths.